Now, the fat dog, that's a classic slow roller. Look at how big and fat his body is. Now, this is a fairly familiar shape to a lot of brimmers. There's a ton of this style and shape of lure on the market at the moment. It dives to two, maybe two and a half meters, so it's got a bit of steepness to it, which also helps it to get over rocks and snags. Slow rolling is probably how this lure is best used, but there's also a couple of other retrieves that I'm about to show you that might excite you. Now obviously the slow roll we've, uh, we've already covered, but I'll pop it out there just one more time. Now you get them in shallow water so straight away it's hitting the bottom, which is not a bad retrieve if you're going to be attacking something that lives on the bottom like a flathead. So you can wind this guy down and I can feel him touching the, the bottom already and as you can see I'm only winding very, very slowly. But you can feel that rod tip really vibrating. That's another indication of how you know your hard bodies are swimming right. Is if you think you might have a bit of weed on there, your rod tip won't vibrate. So you can just slow it up, do some slow winds and just see if you can feel that rod tip vibrating a little bit. And if you, if you can then you know you're, you're good, but if you can't you know it's got some weed and you're better off burning it in, getting the weed off and then getting another cast out there that actually might uh, prove successful because the fish aren't going to eat your lure with the weed on it, come on. So, we've covered the slow roll, now you can wind this guy down quite quickly and that's going to make it dive or dive steeply into the bottom, so that's getting it down into its strike zone. But they also, because of their fat, cylindrical shaped body, they're full of air, they'll rise up very quickly. So as soon as you stop winding, up she comes. Which is great if you want to jump it over rock bars or snags, because it doesn't take forever. The, the puppy dog is a very slow, slow floater. This guy comes up like a rocket. Again, bottom first. Not the best way to float up, but nevertheless. So you wind it down, and then when you feel it hitting the snags, you can just give it a couple of uh, rod tip pumps. So come back too quickly there. So wind it down, and then just a couple of hop, hop, a couple of short, sharp hops, and you can hear the, the reel. Well, you probably can't, but I can hear the reels dragged going there. That's how that's how tough and tight these are. These guys bite into the water. They actually stop your drag system. Like you can pull hard enough on the lure when it's in the water to pull line off uh, off your reel. So they do bite very, very hard, which also means that they're diving, they're pulling down really steeply. So you can wind this guy down into the strike zone. You can get it down two, two and a half meters, possibly three if you're using very skinny line. Keep in mind that it's your line diameter also that governs uh, what depth your lure is gonna dive to. So wind this guy down, feel it hit the bottom, pop, pop, Hop, hop. So as you've wound it down and stop and you're hopping it, it's coming up and it's also sort of jerking up and down in the same spot. These march flies are giving me buggery. So wind him down, hop, hop, hop. Wind him down, hop, 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 over the snag and comes back. Obviously you can be quite slow with the fat dog and that's, that's not going to take it to its true diving depth. A retrieve of about this pace with my rod at about that angle, which is actually quite quite high. It's not quite 45 degrees, but um, it's probably almost flat to the water. But that's going to swim this lure down to about a metre. So you can adjust where these lures swim depending on how fast you retrieve and which angle your rod is at. If you want this thing to go as deep as it can go, you really need to wind quite quickly and stick your rod in the water. Rod tip way under the surface, that drags your line off the surface, sticks it down under, and obviously gives the, the lure a different reference point to swim back to, which is of course deeper, or, or at least further down, than it would be if your rod tip was up high. So if you want this guy to go down to that three meter mark, rod right into the water, and wind at a medium pace with no jerks. Every time you jerk a lure, it stops it from diving down. So if you're working a lure hard with your rod tip, it's not going to be diving to its maximum depth. You want to go to the absolute maximum, you've got a medium pace retrieve with your rod tip in the water. That's how you'll get them down there.